Defense news in a nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in Mindef and the SCF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 17th to the 30th of October. The Singapore Armed Forces Special Operations Task Force, Army Deployment Force and Police Emergency Response Teams moved swiftly to take down armed terrorists who went on a rampage in Bishan Junction 8 and Tampanese Mall. This was the climax of an 18-hour-long multi-agency counter-terrorism exercise held island-wide. Over 3,200 personnel from the SCF and Home Team were activated to neutralize a large-scale mock terror attack. Joint security patrols between police and the SCF's Island Defense Task Force had also been stepped up in the early parts of the exercise. Security was heightened in locations such as the Financial Center, public transport nodes, shopping malls, residential areas, and immigration checkpoints. Speaking at the end of the exercise in Tampanese Mall, Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for National Security, Tuichi Hen, said that the exercise was crucial in testing the coordination among the various security agencies. Over the last several months, uh, both the Home Team and the SF have worked together to develop new SOPs, joint procedures. And today's exercise was an opportunity for them to exercise and validate them. Mr. Teo also reminded all Singaporeans to play their parts in the current security climate. We have to take the threat seriously, not just the security forces, but everyone in Singapore to stay alert, stay united, and to stay strong. More than 3,000 personnel and close to 100 air and naval assets came together for this year's Five Power Defense Arrangements or FPDA Joint Exercise Bersama Lima. The exercise saw the armed forces of FPDA member nations, Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore, and the United Kingdom take part in various air, land, and sea missions. Since the FPDA's formation in 1971, FPDA activities have expanded in scope and complexity, and major joint military exercises such as Bersama Lima help enhance the interoperability and cooperation among member countries of the FPDA. It's something that we are totally committed to, to continue this arrangement. It's a defensive arrangement, um, and it's also a very good collaborative platform for all five of member countries to come together uh, to share uh, professional knowledge. We are very thankful for their commitment and their contribution in assuring the uh, peace and stability, especially so uh, in this part of the region. SCF artillery units and Apache attack helicopters from the Republic of Singapore Air Force conducted an airland integrated line firing exercise as part of Exercise Daring Warrior, held from the 10th to the 31st of October at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, USA. Training together with the SCF units were about 140 troops from the U.S. Army's 75th Artillery Brigade, which operates the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, and the National Guard. The vast training area provided effective and realistic training for the 340 SCF personnel operating the HIMARS, Apache attack helicopters, and artillery hunting radar in this year's exercise. Senior Minister of State for Defense Ong Yi Kong, who saw the live firing exercise, noted that training in the US provided important opportunities for the SCF to hone its capabilities and strengthen its operational readiness. This is a very complex exercise, integrating various uh, elements together, different capabilities uh, able to integrate, operate within a theatre uh, complex environment to the maximum effectiveness. I think this is not possible without having partners that can lend us their help. We thank our host, uh, US Armed Forces, for hosting us here in Fort Sill. It shows the tight ties we have operationally, even uh, cooperation at a broad level between the U.S. Armed Forces and the Singapore Armed Forces. First conducted in 2010, this year's Exercise Daring Warrior is the sixth in the series. They are from diverse military backgrounds brought together by the Go King Sui Command and Staff College or GKS CSC Command and Staff Course and by their shared conviction to serve the nation better. At a ceremony held at the Astana, Minister for Defence Dr. Ng Eng Hen presented certificates to 220 graduates of the 47th Command and Staff Course CSC, 17th CSC National Service and 6th and 7th CSC Executive. We learned a lot about the different kind of leadership styles that we can adopt uh, in uh, different kind of contexts. So in a way, uh, it sharpened my thinking skill and also uh, widen my horizon in terms of how to become an all-round leader. 
Dr. Young also launched the Safdie Golden Jubilee Book, which marks the culmination of the year-long Safdie 50th anniversary celebrations, and urged all graduates to continue to lead well and keep Singapore safe and secure. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing in our social media channels. Underwater combat medics are trained through a specialized course to handle submariners and divers underwater. Do you know what the physical demands were like? Find out on Defense Minister Dr. Ng Eng Hen's Facebook page. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power 98 signing off.